When I deliver a keynote speech, I have three primary goals. First is to educate, to share experiences so that you learn something new. To be entertaining, fun, enlightening by sharing great stories. Most importantly, I hope it inspires you to act, to make a change. About three and a half years ago, I'm in a leadership position within a big company and I felt like I was plateauing a little bit. So I thought, what if I use some of my skill I developed from doing many interviews combined with my genuine curiosity and start my own podcast? That will create a platform for me to speak with leaders from all over the world and then I could learn from my heroes. That's why The Learning Leader Show was created. For the last four years, I've been reaching out to some of the most thoughtful leadership minds all over the planet. I asked them all one specific question. What are those commonalities among the leaders who sustain excellence over an extended period of time? They are dedicated learners. They approach each conversation with a curious mind. They follow their genuine intellectual curiosity every single day. I love to entertain and enlighten. During a keynote talk, I'm going to share the empirical evidence, the science behind why people have sustained excellence. And I'll do that in the form of a story. Theodore Roosevelt, he was described as a sickly kid. And his dad said, you have the mind, but you have not the body. You must make the body. And so that's what he did. And he eventually became the youngest president in United States history. And the interesting part about the day that he died is as they moved his pillow aside, he had an open book. He was striving to learn, striving to grow, striving to get better to the very last breath. There is no better time to be defined by what you love than right now. If you can find a way to spend 100% of your time focused on what you love, the amount of happiness that you will create in your life is immeasurable. If you say yes to something that is outside of your natural comfort zone, you never know about what type of chain of events you are starting in your life. We all have tough moments. We all go through adversity. The greatest medicine for fear is preparation in any aspect of your life. If you're willing to fail, you're willing to make a few mistakes, you will figure it out along the way. But the worst thing you could do is to not even try. There is something that all of us are trying to build or trying to do that could change the lives and better than a lot of other people. And I would hate it if you wouldn't act or if you're scared of failure, a commonality among those who sustain excellence. They understand that fear and they take action in the midst of that fear. They deal with failure, they learn from it, and they try again and again and again.